Hey guys, how's it going? Underground Geek here. So you know what today is? Well, it's a different day than normal, but still a good day. Uh, today I'm going to do my pull list, and uh, we're going to talk about books that are coming out that I want to get, and uh, books that you may want to try because they're coming out. So let's just see what we got here. So Aliens Dust to Dust, number one, comes out. And... Uh, there's a couple of different covers. Both of them look pretty sweet. Um, so we'll see if those are good. Definitely check those out if you're an Alien fan, of course. So, yeah. So let's see what else we got here. I know a lot of people were excited about that one, so I want to bring that one up. Let's see. So we got Action Comics 1000 with a couple of different covers now. They're doing like a million different cover covers, so they got some more covers out this week. And uh, let's see, Batgirl has another Dan Mora cover. Dan Mora does really good covers. I just wish the book was as good as the covers. You know what I mean? I got got my cat here, Jerome, trying to get on my lap here. Settle down, Jerome. Let's see. Okay. We've got a signed cover, Dark Days of Forge, Scott Williams signed cover. We've got Batman Beyond, issue 19. This is kind of amazing that this show is uh, this book is still going. You know, it's a pretty good book. I mean, it's not awesome, but it's a pretty good book. Uh, and then now we've got a new Robin. So that's kind of cool. That's something they never introduced in the show. They were probably planning on doing that. But uh, it's uh, Batman Beyond. It's his little brother. So he's the new Robin. So that's going to be kind of interesting. <clears throat> Let's see. We've got Demon Hell is Earth, uh, issue number six. I believe that's the last issue of, this, of the little miniseries. But uh, it's been pretty good so far. you got Itrigan and his uh, group of merry men, pretty much, fighting um, his brother. So his brothers took over Hell. And it's going to be kind of interesting. It's a little finale there. we got Detective Comics. Raphael Albuquerque did a uh, cover of his own for that. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see. I hope it goes good because here lately it's been kind of going down some. Haven't been that excited about it. So I hope it picks up soon. Uh, Flash has issue number 45. Um, Wally West finally revealed. So I guess Iris remembers who he is. Okay. There's another, there's a David Finch cover too, which is pretty cool. We'll see how that goes. Um, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps. We'll see how that is there. Uh, it kind of looks like he's fighting Manhunters there, but it says Dark Star Rising. Let's see, I don't know if anybody's reading Hellblazer, but this is a pretty cool cover here. I haven't heard anybody say anything about Hellblazer. I've been wanting to read it, but the fact that nobody says anything about it kind of worries me a little bit. Uh, let's see. Justice League of America has a Francesco Matina cover. He always does a good job. Um, the covers are better than the book, though. we got Mirror Queen of Atlantis, issue number three. I haven't heard anybody say anything about this, so I don't know if it's continued to be good or if it just kind of nobody else pay attention to it anymore. We've got Raven uh, and her new series there. I also haven't had anybody talking about that. I don't know if it just kind of, you know, never really become a thing. But I don't know. Uh, Silencer issue number four. That's been a great series so far. Definitely check that out. Now she's fighting Deathstroke, which is kind of awesome. They really got to fix her costume, though, because her costume is trash. Uh, Teen Titans, of course. I love Teen Titans. Teen Titans is always fun just because uh, I love the team and I love all the characters and how they develop and how they interact with each other and the stories and adventures that they go on. And that was a Dave Moore cover, so you can't go wrong with that. Let's 
let's see. We've got, uh, see what this Brian Hitch cover looks like. Okay, okay, not too bad. Um, Terrifics number three. Terrifics has been really fun so far. Um, it's almost like a uh, Fantastic Four, but not. <laughs> so, you got that. Let's see. Oh, went too far. Let's go back up. Now, let's see here. There's another series that nobody is reading but me called Trinity. It's by James Robinson. It's actually a really fun series. Everybody needs to check it out. It's a different kind of take on the heroes. They're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, it's just the three main guy, the, the three Trinity, uh, Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman. And they go on different adventures and they have fun. I mean, it's kind of like Justice League or something. Let's see. Wonder Woman is great. It's also by James Robinson. I don't know why everybody's not reading this. I mean, it's pretty awesome after uh, James Robinson took it over. It's a complete turnaround from uh, Rucka. So, Jenny Frizen does covers for it. She does a great job on the covers. I've only seen one or two that I didn't like. But for the most part, it's really good. Imaginary Fiends, number six. I mean... This is a great series so far. It's been going terrific. Definitely pick this up. I love it because it's like a uh, cross between like um, X-Files and Supernatural or something like that, you know? So it's a definitely a good take. Not reading Motherlands. I read the first issue and I was just like, no, never mind. Um, oh, yeah, I was advertising this yesterday on, on uh, Twitter just kind of talking about it. But this is Batman Rebirth Volume Number 5, Rules of Engagement. This uh, trade paperback is awesome because it has all the Joelle Jones uh, books in there because I love her art. But at the same time, it also has the Batman Annual Number 2 in it, which was one of the best annuals that I've ever seen. Let's see here. Okay. Definitely not reading Battlestar Galactica. Jeepers Creepers number one is coming out. They seem to be doing all the horror movies. Again, like Pumpkinhead and the monster movies. So if you like Jeepers Creepers, they got that book coming out. I'm not that interested in it, but maybe you are. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got a new issue of Sheena, if you like that. Check that uh, book out. Never really been interested in it, but I know a couple of people like Dark Philly really like that series. So, um, we got a new book coming out here. It's called Antar. It says Honor Through Perseverance, Legacy Through Diversity. Oh, eh, you got me there. I'm done with that. Let's see. If you had to put the word diversity in there, you're not diverse. see anything else um i can't remember when power rangers or go go power rangers comes out but i always look to see because i just love those books um hit girl number three this has been great so far um i love the uh issues so far why does that keep popping up go away Hit Girl is very fun because Hit Girl is almost like a manga. It's very out there. It's very crazy. Uh, the characters are drawn very crazy looking. So definitely check that one out. It's a lot better than some of the other series. Um, like the like the Kick-Ass right now is not that good at all. But that one's really fun. It's like a stark difference. I don't know if it's just the artist style or what. Let's see here. Spawn is one of those series that kind of let me down because um, the cover art is really good, but then the actual story is not that good at all. Let's see what else we got here. 
I quit reading Witchblade just because the it's a different style and different uh, kind of character. And I don't really like that. But if you're reading it, let me know. Let me know how it is. I doubt anybody will talk about it. Oh, Michelle Perez's book is out. Pervert. Yeah. So if you want to see a transsexual dog uh, being a prostitute, then there you go. See Avengers. Despicable Deadpool is awesome. I've liked every book so far, so definitely check that out. It's fun. It's more like Deadpool should be. Um, he's a wisecracker, but he's also in very serious situations, fighting and getting hurt and all that good stuff, and that's what we like about him. Um, Doctor Strange, Damnation number four. So far, this has been a great series. Um, Donnie Cates is doing it, and Donnie Cates does a great job, so definitely check that out. Um, Exiles number two is out. I know nobody's reading that. Hunt for Wolverine number one is out. They got pretty cool covers. It's by Charles Soule, so it makes me wonder if it's going to be good or not. It says, Return of Wolverine begins here, providing the first piece of a mystery that will leave no corner of the Marvel Universe untouched. Just as the X-Men have finally come to terms with Logan's death, they learn a terrible secret. Old wounds will be reopened, truth's question, and an epic quest begin. The earliest clues to the mystery of Wolverine's return are laid down here. Who will solve it first? So many covers. I haven't been reading Legion. The first issue just kind of Blew me, threw me off. I just didn't care anything about it. Um, not reading Moon Knight. Um, old Man Hawkeye is great. Um, I'm going to have to go back and get the old issues and read them. Uh, but so far, it's been really good. Um, I like that they introduced Venom. This is fun. I think they're kind of doing over. They're kind of overdoing Venom just a little bit. But I like Venom, so I ain't even mad. Because there he is right there. Let's see here. Thanos Annual, of course, is going to be great. I like that cover. Pretty awesome. Venom is out. Got to pick up Venom. We'll see how that goes. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, alternate covers coming out. We've got Scrimshaw, number five. A lot of people have been saying some good things about that. We got uh, Sinitas, number two, coming out. Um, the 12, number two. And Wicked Righteous. Those have all been pretty good. So you can check them out. They're like $1.50. So, I mean, you can't go wrong. I guess that's all for today. I don't really see anything else, but if you do see anything, just let me know that if I miss anything. I try to tell everybody about what's going on, but sometimes I miss something. Uh, yeah, we got some Power Rangers covers here. Yeah, awesome. So we got, uh, it's the annual. This is the one that everybody's been talking about and worried about. So it's the annual number one. It's got some random people like Mags or Saggio and stuff in there. So I don't really, I'm not really that excited about it. But we'll see how it is. I just can't believe they keep giving the books to these people. Let's see here. We got uh, Lady Death Unholy Ruin coming out, issue number one. So if you've been excited about Lady Death coming back, there's just a couple covers. Oh, 
okay. I might, might get one of those then. Let's just see if it's any good. All right, guys. Let me know if I miss anything. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I usually try to tell everybody about what books are coming out. It helps them. Um, it also helps to uh, get good books out there and let you know what's happening. Because sometimes you just miss a couple things. But uh, hopefully this kind of helped you out and remind you if you've forgotten about any books. So all right, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Have a great day, guys. And uh, Underground Geek out.